After collecting and packing up the key samples, Dominey's real work began. Using an instrument called a spectrometer, he recorded the color of each leaf he had gathered in the field. You see that peak in this green spectrum? So that's telling you that this is a green leaf. Now you see how, compared to that last one, this is peaking much more here in this orange region into the red region. Nate's data yielded a remarkable discovery. Not only were the monkeys eating red leaves, red leaves composed the majority of their diet. It turns out the redder the leaf, the younger and more nutritious it is. Old, mature leaves, the green leaves, they are uh, tough, they're full of toxins. They're generally leaves you want to avoid. So primates in general tend to go for the youngest leaves possible. And if those young leaves also have a color cue that distinguishes them from mature leaves, then it may be ad advantageous to evolve um, a mechanism for detecting those young leaves. To primates, red wasn't simply another color. It was a beacon, a homing device, allowing them to target their key food source from a distance. If it sees red leaves in the canopy, then it knows automatically that those particular leaves are young. And so it can save energy, it can save time, it can travel directly to those young red leaves rather than randomly searching throughout its environment. Increased color vision, a strategic evolutionary leap that scientists discovered was one of many. Primates would soon reap the rewards of another crucial adaptation, binocular vision. It's a trait that predators have repeatedly evolved. But for primates, it served a new function. Primates have eyes at the front of their head, but they're not predators, so why would they do that? Great thing about having two eyes pointing the same direction is you get depth perception. If you're going to jump from one tree and try to land on another tree, depth perception is a really good trick to have. Over time, primates evolved a binocular field of vision of 60 degrees, on par with birds of prey. It's an evolutionary step that allows primates to capitalize on their hand-eye coordination. But this increased binocular vision comes at a price. Unlike the rabbit, primates now had a limited field of view. Most animals have eyes that are laterally placed on their heads, which is to say the eyes are on the side of the heads. And this provides these animals with a panoramic view. And that's really, really useful for detecting predators that may be coming from behind you. So there's a significant cost to putting your eyes in the front of your head. But the advantages are that you have better depth perception, you have better acuity. Once primates abandon a vision system built for protection, birds of prey were ready to benefit. Swooping in from the sky and plucking primates from the treetops, these aerial terrors were threats to be reckoned with. Based upon the evidence that we have from the fossils, birds of prey have been exerting some type of selective pressure on primates for as long as there have been primates and raptors. Primates were easy targets for these winged predators. Under siege, primates evolved a new kind of behavior. They had to depend on each other. You can imagine then that once these animals evolved eyes on the front of their heads, they needed to live with other animals so that they could improve the probability of detecting a potential predator. Group living was the primate's answer to predation. It allowed them to maintain their high degree of binocular field of vision without sacrificing safety. Their keeping watch with a communal eye resulted in an evolutionary side effect. Larger, more powerful brains. So you can see the evolution of group living. And once group living evolves, you have a strong selective pressure, or you might say that evolution favored larger brains, because that's more individuals that you have to remember. Fossils show how the visual system of primates improved over time. Both the eye sockets and the optic nerve canal grew larger as brain size increased. Primates put huge demands on their sight. From color vision, to increased binocular vision, they became extremely sensitive to the slightest change of expression on the faces of other primates. This increased need for visual processing fueled the development of intelligence. And you can see how this sort of runaway process for group living, larger brains, uh, avoiding predation, could give you the, the, the suite of characteristics that define the primate order to which we belong.
A complex and mysterious organ. One that has fueled evolution for more than 500 million years. Driving an eternal arms race between predator and prey. And becoming an indispensable tool for millions of species. The eye, an engine of evolution and one of its ultimate masterpieces.